Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Hello dear friends, today we have a message we feel is beneficial to you at this time. We are always with you and in awareness of what you want, how you feel, how life is going for you and what the vastness of your being is attempting to guide you to. Our aims are always in sync and further the intention of your own wholeness. We seek only to share our views so that you might remember and tune to who you truly are, with more ease, more joy and thus live life with more capacity. There is nothing more beneficial to you than self-love and nowhere does this quality have more opportunity for expression than in how you treat yourself when you regret things you've done or not done. Today we implore you to make it a priority to be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself over and over and over again. There is no reason not to. You are a perfect and eternal being expressing here. In this expression, you are making endless choices. You have internalized value structures and beliefs about how you should be living your life, and you measure yourself against these endlessly finding fault with you. When you do this, you don't feel good. You don't feel good because you shift out of inner harmony with who you truly are, soul. As soul, you are perfect and pure and expressing here, and none of your expression here changes who you are, pure and perfect. Expression is simply that, expression. Yes, there are ways of being that will give you joy because they're true to you. Yes, there is a lot to try out here and experience. In the experimentation of your life, which is ongoing, you determine what you want, what matters to you how you want to live and what you wish to experience. You are in an experiencing on defining and focusing energy. You are in an experience in which you are here to make choices and create through the choice of your focus. You are expanding life, and you are discovering more about who you are. In this focused embodied expression you can see more about yourself in nuanced and amazing ways because it's an experience of discovery. So in the same way that you find out about something new and feel the thrill of it. And especially when it changes things in your understanding of life, you feel an immense sense of your own capacity and in the thrill of learning, growing and finding out what you are capable of in new ways. These are the great joys of living in a body on a planet, discovering what you are capable of and finding new things you like. What if you were to remind yourself of this as the criteria for participation here? Isn't it likely you would find it so easy then, to be gentle with yourself? Being gentle with yourself doesn't mean you won't accomplish things. Many of you have been taught and internalized the belief that to achieve and be more in life you must suffer, struggle and beat yourself up. As if, if that were not happening, you would be a loaf and do nothing. First, we say loafing is a wonderful way to spend some time. Second, you are driven to act, it's simply part of your makeup in a body on a planet. You are going to act and do things because you are built that way. What you do and act upon is a matter of habit, and also so much of it is about your relationship with you. When you are gentle with yourself, when you realize that you are here to express and explore, you lighten up. You stop feeling there is something you must accomplish. When you let this go and let yourself be, Ironically, you become the most beautiful version of you, which you can be here, you become true. In being true to you, you allow everything. In the inner harmony that is alignment with all you are, the vastness of your being, which has a perfect order, a brilliant coherence, can be expressed. When you live this, you light up the world. You bring about the possibilities for peace and harmony. Peace and harmony are achieved individually through alignment and inner unity. When you live in a gentle, harmonious relationship with yourself, you're radiant. You're fulfilled. You're tuned in, and so you have clarity and good timing. You have a sense of where to be and when and what to say and who to say it to. You know what to do. You know how to be. You feel easy and light. Others feel easy and light in your presence. All of this begins on the pathway of you understanding who you truly are and being willing to love yourself as we do, as life does, 
as all you are does. And loving yourself as we do, is simply about being nice to you, being gentle with yourself, being lighter about things in your life and doing that over and over and over again, until it's just natural to be easy with you. You being easy with yourself, is the expression of gentleness we encourage you to embrace. What if you were to experiment with this? What if you dared to be really nice to yourself right now, today, for no reason other than experimenting with your own worthiness? There is nothing truer than your inherent worth, and the joy of loving yourself is the true meaning of the holiday season. Does that surprise you? Think about it. Jesus and all those wonderful aspects of this holiday point to one thing, understanding who you are in relationship to all of life. Who you are is soul. Who you are is pure and perfect and lacking nothing. Who you are is soul, expressing here, discovering an endless flow of light and love within you and allowing it to shine and express through your embodiment, for the joy of the flow. Not to be something, in particular, simply to be here as you. Being you as fully as completely as possible, which is about your energy flow and your alignment, not about particular actions, or accomplishments in the world. Those happen as a natural byproduct of your alignment and connection to the inner current that is life expressing as you. When you are harsh with yourself, or persist in critical thoughts and views about yourself, your life, how you are living, what you've done, what you've not done, your choices, your current experience, you mistake the expression of your life, for who you truly are. Your life is a temporary expression of energy much like a piece of cake or a tree. Nothing to get crazy about. Nothing to complain about. Just something here, now and either something you want to enjoy, or can move away from into something else, here and now. You are always free to choose, and you are always free to choose differently if you wish and making yourselves wrong for not having already done that, or already changed things, accomplishes nothing, but making you feel bad. Gentleness on the other hand, empowers everything. Gentleness, despite how soft it is, opens up possibilities. When you are gentle with yourself, you bounce back quickly. You're resilient. You find your way again, much faster, and feel better, quicker. When you're gentle with yourself that niceness rubs off on others. You communicate, energetically, that gentleness and kindness are your vibe. Then, people being gentle and kind come into your life, rise to the surface of your experience and people who avoided you in the past when you were critical and harsh to yourself, suddenly find themselves warming to your presence. Life seeks energetic resonance in expression. To be gentle and kind to yourself is to amplify that momentum in your experience and expand that energy in your world. What could be more wonderful than that? And oh beloved friends, how good it will feel to you when you decide once and for all to simply be kind to you. We thrill at the possibilities of that. If you wish to empower that, to live that, to know that, be gentle with you. Be kind, be tender even, be soft in relationship to yourself and let love flow freely toward you, from within and in your embodied experience. We wish you great joy. We are complete. I am Archangel Michael, with the Council of Radiant Light.